On April 24, 1990, NASA launched what would become the most renowned telescope in the world. Perhaps one of the greatest successes in the history of space exploration, it has averted near disaster countless times. From its origins in a time of fear, it has become the prophet of exploration and curiosity. It has inspired the public with the true beauty of the universe and has answered some of the biggest questions ever put forth by science. This is the iconic story of one of our greatest triumphs. This is the story of Hubble. This is the story of a legend. The idea of an orbital telescope dates back to the early 1940s. However, with no way of achieving orbit, the idea was never fully realized. This changed with the launch of Sputnik by the Soviet Union on October 4, 1957. As a result, the United States became embroiled in a heated race against the Soviet Union to achieve technological superiority in space. So I'm Ray Villard, I'm news director at the Space Telescope Science Institute. My office puts out all the news stories and all the pictures collected from the Hubble Space Telescope. The Soviets really gave birth to the space age. The, the launch of Sputnik in the late 50s sent a seismic wave across the country. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. Unfortunately, this was not an endeavor fueled by curiosity or scientific gain. And the government poured tons of money into NASA to be able to accomplish things ahead of the Russians. Really to demonstrate national prestige, and engineering prowess. It was only for that reason that we were able to send humans to the moon and land on the moon by the end of the 1960s. When the space race finally came to an end in 1975 with the Apollo-Soyuz test mission, NASA shifted its focus to a revolutionary new reusable spacecraft called the Space Shuttle. And then NASA said, well, what kind of payloads can we put on the shuttle? It was then that NASA began considering the possibility of a space telescope. When you build something completely new, you know, you can have cost estimates, but, but in the end, you, you may be way off track. Now, Hubble certainly was more expensive than what was planned. And when the telescope was launched, it was 1.5 billion. The telescope was built by Perkin Elmer and Lockheed Martin, with final assembly taking place in 1985. However, the planned 1986 shuttle launch was delayed due to the Challenger disaster when NASA completely shut down the space shuttle program to investigate the cause. Finally, after shuttle flights resumed in 1988, Hubble was scheduled to launch on April 24, 1990. Minus six, five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope. Window on the universe. Discovery ascended to over 610 kilometers above the Earth, the second highest altitude the space shuttle has ever flown to. Payloads, waiting on you. Flight payloads, we are go. go. Capcom, we have a go for release. Discovery, go for Hubble release. Despite some issues with Hubble's solar panels, the deployment was a success. After five days in space, Discovery returned safely to Earth. However, when astronomers received Hubble's first images, they quickly realized something was wrong. Of course, after it was launched in 1990, after a couple months, astronomers realized the images were blurry because the, the device used to grind the mirror had been properly assembled. So it was like you built a house with a yardstick, except your yardstick was not really a yard. Long, right? And so everything you had, the dimensions were long. But to NASA's credit, 
They said, okay, there's a problem, we'll fix it. And the shuttle was the insurance policy. STS-61 would be flown by Endeavour on December 2, 1993 to repair the damaged mirror. No repairs of this scale had ever been attempted in orbit before. And we have a go for main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one. And we have liftoff. Liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on an ambitious mission to service the Hubble Space Telescope. The crew spent a record-breaking 35 hours in space performing repairs, making upgrades, and installing a new set of corrected optics. have a good release. Hubble was successfully repaired and Endeavour returned to the Kennedy Space Center almost 10 days after the mission had begun. Astronomers eagerly pointed Hubble towards the stars and tested out the new cameras. The results were stunning. With its new optics, the Hubble Space Telescope was finally able to pursue its ultimate goal, expanding our knowledge of the universe. Its greatest scientific accomplishment was the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. It is the most intensively studied piece of astronomical data that's ever been taken. And the fields are important because we can look at the far back oh, 13 billion light years. And of course with the telescope, when the farther you look, the farther back in time you look because the light from the early universe is just arriving now. Hubble was also responsible for determining the expansion rate and age of the universe. One of the key projects for Hubble was to determine the expansion rate of the universe. Now again, Edwin Hubble, back in the 1920s, found the universe is expanding. And the rate of that expansion can be used to calculate an age. And when every, everything is factored together, that gives an age for the universe of 13.8 billion years. However, Hubble serves a different, perhaps even more important purpose. It is a symbol of discovery, perseverance, and wonder. If Apollo was an offspring of competition, Hubble was an offspring of curiosity. So it's one of the great comeback stories, in, not only in space history, but in the history of science. It has produced incredible images of space nebulas, galaxies, star clusters, and black holes. It has awed an otherwise uninterested world, showing the average person the wonders of the universe we live in, as no other telescope could. It's a perfect storm. It's a confluence of manned space travel, melodrama with a, with a misshapen mirror, the, the awesome first clear views of the universe. Hubble is undisputably the most publicly influential optical telescope ever built. The Hubble Space Telescope is the most scientifically important orbital observatory ever constructed. It has triumphed over every obstacle thrown at it. But that is not what makes it special. It has revealed to us the true wonder of the universe, gazing out across the vast expanse of time. The universe was a much more timid and staid looking place before Hubble. It has unveiled a new kind of universe. It has unveiled what I call a compulsive universe. Where galaxies collide, as the black holes explode. It's a rambunctious universe. Even today, Hubble continues to look out upon the universe. And while its days might be numbered, its story will live on as legend.